four. It's five four. Okay, I got it. I gotta get here. Going live. You are live. Okay. okay. Well, if we're live. I'm gonna turn off the fan for one thing. Okay. And if well, do, this is my first stop are, on the live stream. We are YouTube. live. I'm gonna move the camera back really, a little but, bit. Uh, we'll see how this ends up. It looks a little bit smoother. Yeah, it does. Um, we can actually hold like videos up and stuff for this. This actually looks better already. Right, I'm gonna I'm see if I can go here. Like, full screen, uh, full not full screen, but like you can go full time. Make it like um, zoom full screen like that. Allegedly, we have a viewer. If there's actual viewer out there, what's up? Hello, what's up? hello. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is Nick's Flicks of nixflix.com. N I K S F L I C K S. Uh, yep, and I just hope when we do this unboxing, we don't find anything illegal, nor like a human body part or something. But I'm oh, very that's, interested that's, in that's seeing very, what we could, we could find. That's very encouraging. Of yeah, that's to, uh, everybody should hope for that. When you get let's, something from eBay, let's hope none of our. Well, that's true. We don't want yeah. to make the Google News or because, something. Yeah, because that is what we are doing. And we I get sweaty are, when I talk to police, so. <laughs> I want to be like, oh, well, hey. People don't, even know, people don't even know why we're here. Uh, while we're here to do an unboxing, uh, hopefully I could find it as entertaining as we do. Unboxing of movies! DVDs. Yay! Great, fun, interesting um, stuff. You know, in a world of a pandemic that we live in, I think this is a very good chance for a break from reality. In and maybe, a world where... Nixflix.com orders a hundred movies. And then I call in the chopper right here. I'll be like, all right, there, uh, chopper one, please drop down the package. And you hear a big old. (laughs) (laughs) This is actually pretty interesting. It actually looks like it's going a lot better than before, too. I'm going to turn off the TV screen and I'm going to see if I can kill some of that noise. And I will bring the box over to you. And something to open it, and then we can talk about some movies. I, you know, I, I think the laptop does add about five pounds. It adds about five pounds. To, yeah. To, to your face. To my face, to my midsection. Maybe. So what you're saying is you're going to have to have a face off. I'm gonna have to have a face off. All right. I mean, you know, I need. This. What do we got here, Nick? I always wanted to see what I look, oh, yeah. look like on a laptop. Don't mind. Don't mind the. Baby doll in the background. I'll keep an eye on her really quick, and I will give you something to open at, and I'll be right with oh, you. Oh, Excalibur. Excalibur of of Next. All right. It's going great. All right. Okay. I think she's okay. Uh, yeah, my hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes all right. If not, you know, this is just a beta test run to see if anybody out there likes what we are, what we're putting out there. And if not, um. So yes, we are nixflix.com n i k s f l i c k s dot com. Also twitter dot com slash nixflix. Um, and we are having fun with movies. We bought a hundred movies on eBay in a random box, and we have no idea what they are. And we are about to find out, and it should be pretty interesting. Okay, so let's after uh, you. Okay. Oh, this one's near and dear to my heart. And it? again, we're not experts, so if we get anything wrong, you know, please leave a dis- kind description down at the bottom, what we got wrong, and what we can do to better correct our next uh, podcast, or our next live stream. Um, this one is um, The Deer Hunter. Um, I do a lot of hunting, uh, The Deer Hunter, and this is what it looks like inside. Why does that look like a book? I, I, I don't know, but I guess it is a classic. You know, it's a legacy scene. Oh. I guess that, that that speaks a thousand words when you put legacies and you and you gotta make the you gotta make it look like a book. I'm guessing Deer Hunter is about people yeah. that hunt deer. Yeah, that hunt. Well, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it short. It's it's from a small town, and they're from a uh, a blue collar town in Pennsylvania. And then they go and they volunteer, and they go into the army. And it's during the Vietnam era, and it's got Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken is in it, and basically they're hometown friends. They go to Vietnam, and they get all crazy psychologically. You got PTSD. Christopher uh, Walken is like lost it and they're in they're also like what they do one of their big hobbies is deer hunting and the guy who plays uh Fredo from The Godfather he's in oh he's in that he's in this movie and it, it's a when classic movie out? it came out um I think in the during the 1970s I don't know for sure, the but girl in it? I guess I didn't know that. But basically, see the helicopters in the back and like Vietnam, and it's got Christopher Walken, and uh, it's huh? it's really a really good movie. And uh, deer hunting. It here's a little known fact, and uh, if the deer that they use in this movie is not native to Pennsylvania, so when you see the deer, like oh wow, look at that majestic animal. It is not native to the Pennsylvania area, so. That seems kind of stupid. It's a red stag, I think it is. Uh, you, again, people can correct us down at the bottom. But it's basically about guys who deer hunt, go to Vietnam, come back. They're not. Again, people can correct us down at the bottom. But it's basically about guys who deer hunt, go to Vietnam, come back. They're not very well. Robert De Niro says, I want to go back and try to find Christopher Walken. You know, his character, and it goes on from there. But I don't want to spoil it, but it's a, it's a really good movie. It's a classic, and I think everybody should watch it. Sweet. Okay. Ready? I don't know what I'm even grabbing. Bad Lieutenant with Nicolas Cage. I don't know this movie, do you? No, I have no idea. I, this, this I must do be like, like Nicolas Cage, though. Post-90s. Ava Mendez. So probably like early 2000, like 2005 or something. Yeah, I don't know. Bad Lieutenant? Bad Lieutenant. Okay, well, yeah, we'll have to check I, it out. I don't know much about it, but again, it goes into... That's uh, why it's great, because we can spend like five minutes on like one that we like, and then like that, we don't know. So um, we don't know what we got. So your turn. Uh, okay, we're going to go... Oh, we will... Uh, well, we're not gonna go with total body workout, okay? Oh, like you're, you're, hard believe, you're no. giving away stuff. We'll show, we'll show what oh, came in, and we'll set it to the side. Well, this is uh the oh wow. Is there if somebody knows Pat the, Robertson, a video a video teaching <clears throat> series by Pat Robertson, <laughs> the Empowered Believer. Nice. If I somebody like knows a way for the future, by the way, so that we can uh, horizontally flip the camera. Then we can like show the titles without the text being backwards, and that'll be handy too. We're like learning this as we go along. Yeah, so. we're learning as we go along. Okay, well, I won't count that one just because, like, so you can grab another one. Okay, I'm not grabbing. He's Nick, by the way. I'm Robert. <laughs> yep. Uh, wow, this is a really good one. I a big fan of Keir Knightley. I say no more. If you haven't seen this movie and you live in the, these United States, and you don't know who Keira Knightley is, you don't know who Mickey Rourke is, uh, Edgar Ramirez, you don't have to know who he is, but you just have to know Mickey, um, uh, Mickey Rourke, or Rourke, Mickey Rourke and Keira Knightley is, and that's all you need to know. It's it's really, it's a pretty darn good movie. Is she an assassin in it? Yeah, it's got Christopher Walken in it. <laughs> six, what else do you need to know? Of, six Degrees of Walken. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I it's, like It's her. great. I love the action in it. It's you know, have you seen this movie? No. Oh god. No, I it. think when it came out, I was going to see it, and then the fact that they made her eye makeup very dark, and then there's a Marvel oh, character in Domino, of... like threw me off because, like in Deadpool two, there's Domino, even though they made her look different, but there's a character, and so I was like, are they doing a spinoff of a superhero movie? And I was like, oh no, it's, it's got a... Lucy Liu in it. What else do you need to know? Um, I need to know why she was on Ally McBeal. I don't know, but Lucy Liu is like really great in this movie. It's a really great movie. Um, I recommend to go and see it. Um, you watch it, it sometime. We 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 can watch it. It's like it's a spoil. It's it's a up uptown kid from in Beverly Hills. From what I can remember, goes and wants to be a uh, a bounty hunter, and um, yeah. So she's like. 
a suburban. Yeah, uh, it's that becomes like. Uh, uh, but I like how they they got them wearing the uh, old flak jackets. Like flak jackets don't these flak jackets that they have on? They're meant for like deflecting, like like protecting against shrapnel, like not against like direct like bullet wounds. Mm -hmm. A flak jacket is not bulletproof vest, but. Uh, it makes it look cool, and I don't know why, but the the the, the bandolier around her side is a nice touch. Yeah, but if they don't shoot a machine gun. I don't know why, but she's kind of she's kind of hot too. Oh, like, she is. Even yeah, though yeah, she is. I don't care. Or, she can have hot. as many errors as you want in her movies. <laughs> what you're saying is. You would not turn down a ride from Kieran. No, Knight. I would not turn. I would say, you know, you had a white of a bandolier on the cover of Domino's and Domino, and like, oh, I would not say it. Twenty three is a movie I don't know anything about. Who's in Twenty Three? Um, that is Jim Carrey. Oh, this is the movie where he's obsessed with the number twenty three, um, but not because of Michael Jordan. Um, so it's a serious movie with. Yeah, it's uh, uh the dominant is keeping them as nice for rating. Oh no, we're gonna um, it's going down also, from an A to a B. For minus. anybody that um, don't you hate this top part? Like mm -hmm. they just like it's the next one. Oh. But that totally lowered the rating that they didn't even include the disc because you know you no know, rivers in the wild wild west. I'm suddenly more intrigued because you know, if you thought they were tough there's gonna be People that say he sucks regardless. So I hope the writing, for his sake, that the writing is good, and that and that the director is good, and that everything sinks in. Because if he does well, then, oh my god, he's gonna go. He's gonna go great. But as you see with Ben Affleck, before Ben Affleck, he even was starting to take on the role of. No, that's, like that you've been bringing up some great points. That's why kind of like Ben Affleck had the, like a no go with the fans because he did. Daredevil. He did bad for and a while. Really, like he had some real bad and people, movies. And, and even Family just... Guy teased him and like made fun of his acting ability. So that right there. Now Patterson has got doesn't have that, but people again are gonna like, oh, you got the guy from Twilight, really? But I mean, but they you can do it. You could, you could if he does it, then he's he, they'll they'll go. Uh, Jared Leto. Not Jared Leto. No, um, but uh, what's his name? Oh. Um, Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. I think that you were like, so like that's an example. Like, should this be a kid-friendly channel, or is this one where you really want to get the lowdown on? Uh, I've seen this picture, and it says five Academy Award nominations. The feel-good movie of the year shall change your life. Is it Emily? Am I saying that right? Because I've seen. This cover, and yet I have I don't know anything about this movie. I mean, do I? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna like look at the the casing. You can make a scary movie out of like a DVD like, movie like you've never seen before. Yeah, but is it is it even a scary movie? No, it could be no, it could be a it could be a topic for a scary movie. You put it into your DVD player, and then all of a sudden you're in a uh, condition is universe. basically perfect. So uh, by the way, if this is a great movie, we'll keep it. If it's not. We are totally as one of our side projects for next flicks. <gasps> maybe even renting these. I don't know how we would do it yet um, because that's kind more. of like a lofty thing because he and I both uh, are fond of the old days of Blockbuster. We but, are. Um, if we can distribute this to the masses and it turns out that Emily is an amazing movie, which we'll be the judge of. Um, movie studios will find any way to like... Uh, charge you extra for a piece of uh polymer uh mm. like i don't know i mean it's terminal like, i mean that's how i can say that nothing really came about it it was just um yeah the terminal uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, the fantastic. Um, it's got Chris Evans in it, and it's got Jessica Alba, Joan Grufford, and Michael Chiklis. Oh boy, this is a movie that I wish. 
would have been better. It met all the things that I liked about it. Um, the actors were good. Um, although the thing, whatever, this guy in the middle with his. Oh, yeah. Dave Ramsey dumping death. Oh, okay. and I'm going to say this is that. I know him. Yeah, um, he's got, so I think it was on Fox News Channel for something for a short church. Is that church? Is you how to get out of that? That's kind of true. Oh, Ramsey is actually like he uh, sort of preaches a, a religious message with his uh, being financially stunned. Yeah. Make baby listen to his podcast because she is going to be uh, well from an early age because of listening to him. So, it's just, sweet. Was that the only unboxing? One? Oh, we got. Yeah, uh, I've started doing. Started filling some some ones in like. The Fantastic Four, The Silver Surfer, with Chris Evans in it before he became Captain America. He's Chris Evans in it before he became Captain America. America. <laughs> the weird thing is, it's not that he isn't fit there, but like Captain America is supposed to be this like larger than life, like um, super soldier, perfect specimen of an American um, versus. Uh, Flaming on for this, he he looks. I was, did think that that was the casting, though. Having yeah, um, what was he on the FX show? Um, um, oh, I know what he was. He played. Um, he, if you were on your phone and you were looking for something to watch, and you, you're in a, you are in taking a, a, a public restroom somewhere, and you're like, God, I, I, I I'm like, I, I'm putting up with an annoying family, and then you watch us, like, oh wow. I'll yeah, better now. <laughs> or if you want to um, pretend like you are doing your classwork, but you're actually doing your work at Watching home, and so you are a couple of blue collar guys like so you're talking about movies. so you're streaming YouTube on your phone while taking a college course or something. And while you'll be hearing our opinion on pre Captain America, Chris Evans, and uh, Dave Ramsey stuff, and scary movie covers, is ooh, that's not a movie for us. Uh, I have no unless, idea what unless, that is. Unless you want, unless you have a lady friend, it says that she was very hard to work with. She's yeah, we can talk about how she's hard to work with. Uh, I'm gonna toss this random. Thing I hear it's like not one even do ever do a movie with her again. I believe that. I, think, um, I heard so many bad things. Like it was just like it's impossible to work with her. I will say one thing, if you want a semi-watchable chick flick type movie and you're a guy or something, um, she is in one called The Ugly. Signing out. Signing out. Let's give it a sec. Oh, hey, there we go. Well, let's make sure. End stream.